Hello, and welcome to Formula Phil. All right, how are we doing? Hope you're doing well. This is just a kind of a funny story, I suppose, from F1 in the 1970s. Another one of those classic moments which most likely, and I mean probably 100%, that will never happen again. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did researching it. So, here we go. This little story concerns a racer called Hans Heyer. And he was a top touring car race driver. And in 1977, he decided to have a crack at the elite level of single-seaters. He chose his home German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim Ring. He entered in the local privateer team, ATS Racing, in the now year-old PC4 racing car. Try as he might, he failed to qualify for the race. With a probable combination of inexperience in open-wheeled cars and a lack of competitiveness of the PC4. No doubt disappointed, but undeterred by the did-not-qualify status. On race day, he suited up and got the team to prime the car in the pits. And hiding in plain sight, he waited. He waited for his moment. That moment arrived early, as on the very first corner, there was the usual Hockenheim Ring racing shunt, which involved Clay Regazzoni and Alan Jones. And in the frac car and the ongoing panic, Hans fired his engine and drove out of the pit lane and onto the track. He was racing in an F1 race, unofficially of course. The crowd erupted in cheers, seeing their local hero taking to the track. Hans was well known at the Hockenheim ring, and perhaps some marshals turned a blind eye as he gunned it out of the pits and into the race. Amazingly, race control did not notice this illicit extra car. Even though the crowd roared every time this local waving backmarker passed the grandstand. In fact, Hans, officially or, or unofficially, was allowed to continue for 10 laps. But even then he wasn't black flagged. His wild ride only concluded and stopped due to a gear linkage issue. You have to admire the sheer balls out cheek of it. But once this outrageous ruse was discovered, both Hans and ATS Racing were reprimanded and Hans was disqualified and he never got to race in F1 again. ATS Racing didn't mind too much as the small team sponsors were delighted with the extra TV coverage and the publicity. Hans Heyer has the fantastic record and accolade of a DNQ, did not qualify, a DNF, a did not finish, and a DSQ, disqualified. And that's quite an achievement in his brief moment in Formula 1. But could you imagine how the authorities would react today to such a cheeky and ridiculous action? Well, I uh, suppose it just wouldn't happen, would it? It actually just couldn't happen. But it's brilliant, though. And it's stories like this that reminds us how different F1 was back in the 70s. And it's just a bit of jovial banter, as most of the 1970s F1 stories usually have the spectre of death lingering after them. Actually, Hans Heyer went on to have quite a lengthy racing career in both touring cars and endurance racing, as well as probably always been known as being a bit of a legend. Anyway, another cracking story. I hope you have a cracking day. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you want more story time, check out my other videos. Many thanks for watching. Much love and good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm on the track.